Hey guys, it's Mrs. Henshin. I'm here to teach you a lesson. We're very excited about this. We're going to learn about fact families. So let's first watch this video together. Hey everybody, I'm Kai. This is my friend Chris, and this is another Math Minute. Hey Chris, what, what's that on the board? It looks like a house. It is a house. It's called a fact family house. Oh, I see. What's a fact family house? Well, a fact family are three numbers uh, that are like a family and they all go in the house. And somehow I have to add them and subtract them and they'll go in this house. Do you want to see how it works? Yeah. Okay. So, say I have the numbers 2, 3, and 5. That's, that's my fact family. And they're going to go together in some way so that I can add them and then they can equal one of the numbers. So, I have, I can do 2 plus 3 and that equals... That's 5! Yeah, because 2 plus 3 equals 5. So that is one of my fact family. So I would do 2 plus 3 and that equals 5. Oh! Yeah. So I think of, I have to think of two addition problems okay. and two subtractions. So I've done okay. one addition and then I have to think of two subtraction problems. So let's see, I did two plus three equals five already. Do you see another way that maybe I can add them? Um, maybe three plus two? Oh yeah, I can flip flop or it's called related addition. Ah, okay. I would do three plus two and that equals five. So that makes sense. Three plus two yeah. equals five, because math makes sense. Yeah. So three plus two more, let's see, three, four, five. Yep, just checking. Perfect. So now there's another way that I can um, put the numbers together, but it's going to be a subtraction problem. Oh, yeah. now it's getting tricky. So how would I put these numbers together to make a subtraction problem? Well, um. Maybe if you just kind of switch it around. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I have the numbers 5, 3, and 2, and I have to use the probably larger number, I'm going to think. Because let's pretend you gave me five cookies. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Because I would share. Yes, exactly. So if you gave me five cookies, and let's see. What we... if I wanted two back? <gasps> okay, you took two back because you were hungry. And I said, okay, well, yeah, we can share. What would that equal? That would, we would be left with three cookies. Three cookies, you got it. So I can write that, but what I want to do is I want to double check. So let's see, I'm going to just draw the five and make sure that makes sense. Okay. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Take away two, so there are my five cookies. I have to take away two are of those them. Are those chocolate cookies? Oh yeah, your favorite? I like chocolate chip. Yes, he does. So let's see, five, take away how many? Two. Two. Let's see. One. And that's two. How many do I have left? Three. Three. So that does make sense. And we yeah. can write that down as our fact family. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So that, then I would do five minus two equals three. Three. Yeah. All right. So now it has, we have to do another one. So what's another way that I can put this? I heard you um, five minus two equals three. Can you can you put three minus five? Oh, okay, let's try it. Three minus five, and this is the last number, and it has to go in the fact family. So three minus five equals two? Hmm, let's I, think about that's this. That's kind of, I don't know, that, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, and that's supposed to make sense. So, let's see, if I drew three, one, two, three, can I take away five cookies? If I gave you three cookies, could I take away five of them? No, 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 no. All right, so I'm thinking. Because there's only three up there. Exactly, so I'm thinking that the numbers have to go in a different way. So, let's see, which one, which number do you think is like the greater number? Because we're probably going to have to start with the greater number. Well, five's the greater, biggest number. Okay, so that's. So that's the greatest number. Because right, it's it. big. So, and then we've already done five minus two, so what is the other one we could do? Okay, we could switch it around and put the three there. Five minus three equals? 
Two. Two, you got it. And I can think of it. So if I gave you five cookies, Kai, and I took away three, one, two, three. How much would be left? Uh, one at two. 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 Good. So then I can write five minus three equals two. I like your handwriting. Oh, thank you. And so that is our facts family. I have two addition, two subtraction, and they all make sense. Do you see? All right, guys, that was great. Now I want to show you a really fun game, and I've given you the link. We can do a fact family. So here I have an 8, a 2, and a 10. If I say 8 plus 2 equals 10, hmm, can I do 2 plus 8 equals 10? What about 10 minus 2 equals 8? What about 10 minus 8 equals 2? <gasps> Let's check, see how I did. I got them all right. Yay. Ooh, let's do this next one. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Ooh, 8 minus 5 equals 3. 8 minus 3 equals 5. Let's check to see how Mrs. Hinchin did. I did it right again. So guys, you can play this game at home. Last thing I want you to do is look at this fact family picture. And I want you to draw this picture. And then have your parents give you three numbers that are a fact family and you fill it in. I hope you enjoyed learning about fact families. I cannot wait to see pictures of your fact family houses. Bye, guys.